The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, O Lord our God, creator and ruler of the universe. You made us in your image and freed us from the bonds of slavery. You claimed us as your people and made covenant to be our God. You fed us with manna in the wilderness and brought us to a land flowing with milk and honey. When we forgot your covenant, you spoke through the prophets, calling us to turn again to your ways. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with the celestial choirs and with all the faithful of every time and place who forever sing to the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God of majesty, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. In humility he descends from your heights to kneel in obedience to love's commands. He who is boundless takes on the bondage of our sin. He who is free takes our place in death's prison. He who is risen leads us to eternal life. In the words of Paul, my friends, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And when he had given thanks, Jesus broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Do this in remembrance of me. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. For as often as you share this bread and this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. I am the gate for the sheep. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out to find pasture. Remembering all your mighty and merciful acts, we celebrate with joy the redemption won for us in Jesus Christ. Accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, as a living and holy offering of ourselves, that our lives may proclaim the one crucified and risen. For great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Gracious God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us that we may know the real presence of the body and blood of Christ. By your Spirit, unite us with the living Christ and with all who are baptized in his name, that we may be one in ministry in every place. Send us out to be the body of Christ in the world. Lead us, O God, by the power of your Holy Spirit to live as love commands. Bound to Christ, set us free for joyful obedience and glad service. As Jesus gave his life for ours, help us to live our lives for others with humility and persistent courage. Give us strength to serve you faithfully until the promised day of resurrection, when with the redeemed of all the ages, we will feast with you at your table in glory. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, all glory and honor are yours, almighty God, with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Church, now and forevermore. Amen. And with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray the prayer Christ has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen.